Well, how you all doing? This is uh, Newcastle Ninja here, and uh, today I wanted to show you the Kaiser Beg Lighter in 20 CV steel, and this is of course a Blade HQ uh, Blade HQ exclusive, and it's quite nice. I I have a few of my other Beg Lighters here. This is the standard in VG10, and. I really like this one here uh, in the S35 VN steel and uh, carbon fiber handle with the tanto point. It's pretty awesome. But this is truly uh, one I'm glad I held off for because unlike those other two, this does have a deep pocket clip and it, of course it is the uh, 20 CV steel. And I'll tell you, just feeling it out of box, you can really feel the difference of, uh, man, it is hair popping, shaving sharp. And it's, uh, the G10 on it is a nice type of, uh, grip. Just like the standard bag lighter, it's more or less mirrored exactly the same, but of course, uh, one difference is, look at that, this ball bearing action is just phenomenal. And not to say that the washers weren't bad with this one here, because although it uh, takes a little more work to close, it is smooth anyway. Um, now I do, one of the reasons I really like this one here is because of that fast, that fast smooth action as well and very drop shutty smooth and of course it's a beautiful blade they put on there and the handle is amazing but this here will be the new pocket carry for a while i see because uh it's definitely everything i've pretty much look, been looking forward to with the bag lighter is that deep pocket clip and a better steel so but i got no problems against vg10 either but this is quite nice, and for the price that Blade HQ uh, offers it at, it's quite remarkable for 20 CV steel. So I'm glad I held off on the M391 because the difference I know is that this has a deep pocket clip and it does have the uh, ceramic uh, caged bearings in there, unlike the M390 from what I've seen and uh, heard. So, um, yep. It's pretty awesome. Goes in and out of the pocket, terrific. Um, they recess the screws, and yep, it's perfectly centered. And yep, for anybody that likes to notice that difference of how that catches in there, there you go. Really nice thumb studs, very comfortable. And, uh, let's see, really pretty much identical to the other, same feel and so forth. I'm looking about doing a, uh, maybe a sapphire blue red dye on it, but the, uh, the plain G10 finish on this is, it's quite nice. It's, uh does remind me a bit of some other knives. Um, this here is the Imperium, just for uh, comparable options. Uh, other ones that it, you might want to compare the size to, here is Ripple. This is a phenomenal knife if you haven't got your hands on it. Uh, the Petrified Fish 949, incredible. Speaking of Petrified Fish, got the big old Beluga. So it won't be taking up the kind of real estate in the pocket as that. Another phenomenal knife here is the Wii uh, in this milled titanium. But, and last comparable option, this is the Asika by San Remo or SRM. 
quite considerably larger, but for all the tasks and so forth of everyday care usage, and maybe and then some, this spec lighter should be serving me just fine. And uh, I'm very happy I got it. So there you go. That's the Blade HQ exclusive Kaiser bag lighter going for just under a hundred bucks. And um, there you go. I'm Newcastle Ninja. If you happen to like this video or want to make a comment, keep it decent. And uh, feel free. Talk to you all later.